Scores an 8-7-6-2. Lots in that routine. Emily Fournier of Canada to the vault. Now here's a bright star for Canada. Round off your Chenko half front layout. Got her hands almost missed the front of the horse, but she hangs on to a fairly stable landing, considering. 8962 for the first ball. Here's the second. The comeback kid, your Chenko layoutful twist, makes it look easy that time. 8937. They average the scores, and Fournier scores 8949. Here's the prohibitive favorite in this event, Zena McLaughlin of Australia. Watch this round off layout, back handspring, back handspring. Now that is precision. Shows just how much experience she has. Takes years of practice to be that perfect. Round off double back, lands on a dime. 17 years old and Australia's superstar 9537. If she's the present superstar, here's a bright future. 14 year old Alana Slater on the floor exercise. Scott, I think her future starts today. She's got it all. Excellent tumbling with an international standard and really expressive dance. Whip, two and a half, punch front. Knows how to work the music. And this is not child's play, triple twist. Nine four for Slater on the floor. Here's her teammate, another 14-year-old, Trudy McIntosh on the bars. This event requires split-second timing on tricks like that, ginger release move, and you know, Scott, she rarely gets through this bar routine, but she does it today. Australia trying to make this their coming out party. Nine one three seven for McIntosh. Veronique Leclerc of Canada, floor exercise. Always an impressive display of pure explosive power. She goes for it, first line, full twisting double back. Beautifully done. An 8.75 for Leclerc to start. Zena McLaughlin of Australia cruising already. She leads Lisa Mason and her younger teammate, Alana Slater. Zena was great at the Pacific Alliance Championships in Winnipeg in July. Part of that great result was because of the floor exercise. She is just so delightful to watch. She's coming into the final tumbling line. And it's a big one. Triple twist. It doesn't get any better than that. There's the current leader, Zena McLaughlin of Australia. And she might not let it go today. Great reaction from the crowd here at Putra Stadium and also from her coach, Peggy Lettick, former coach of Shannon Miller, the world champion. 9-5-6-2 for McLaughlin on the floor. Here's Emily Fournier on the uneven bars for Canada. And she is really pushing ahead. Very determined to hit all four events, and she's doing just that so far. Intricate pirouette work, but here it comes, the big release move, Ginger. Michelle Charon steps in, just for safety. She's really flying on this event, Scott. The judges are looking for fluid movement, big swing, and if you like roller coasters, watch this. Double layout, flips it right around. Pride of Saint-Jean sur Richelieu, Quebec. 9-0-5-0 on the uneven bars for Emily Fournier. Rock solid throughout these Commonwealth Games. Alana Slater now of Australia to the vault. Not necessarily her best event, but it'll do very nicely. Thank you very much. Front, front, Pike. She averages out over two balls at 8.774. Lisa Mason to the beam. Critical for her now to stay close to McLaughlin. She was an absolute star on this event in the team competition with one of the highest scores, a 9.6. This event is unpredictable. Only the tough, the mentally tough, survive here. Back handspring, full twisting back tuck. Not today. No room for error. Needs to set it straight up to come straight down on the beam. Off the beam for Lisa Mason. 8-1-6-2 is the score. Veronique Leclerc on the vault. Her best event. Normally it is her best event. 
decided to change, go for a safer vault, but that doesn't work for her. Front front tuck lands short. Second vault was a 7737. Here's Crystal Gilmore, the floor exercise. She's just 15 years old from the Cambridge Kips. And the only one in the entire competition to throw a trick like this. Arabian double front keeps it on her feet. Quite frankly, I think it's one of the best ones she's ever done in competition. But just when we thought she was off to a fantastic start, a two and a half punch front, not only does it fall, but it's out of bounds also. Again, there's lots in the routine for Crystal Gilmore, but mistakes lead to an 8-3-2-5. Two rotations done for the women. Australia's Zena McLaughlin continuing to lead over Alana Slater and Canada's Emily Fournier. Fournier is moving to the balance beam next in the all-around final. Midway through the women's individual all-around final at Putra Stadium, Canada's Emily Fournier finds herself in bronze medal position and going to the balance beam. And that's a tough position to be in. It may affect her psychologically. It's certainly a challenging event at any time. When you know a medal is on the line, concentration, focus, and aggressiveness. Fantastic backhand spring layout. She's got all the right moves. Great combination tumbling work. 8737 for Fournier on the beam. She's battling with Alana Slater of Australia, who's on the uneven bars, 14 years old. Australia is definitely the best prepared team coming in, showing no signs of fatigue. High flying pack Salto. Many of the athletes are struggling today. Two intense days of competition back to back, but it seems to have no effect on Australia. Physically, mentally, a tough team. Hop giant full, right through to a ginger. Very inexperienced Australian team with the exception of Zena McLaughlin, but the young 14-year-olds are showing their stuff. What a great bars routine. 9-6 for Alana Slater. And here's her young teammate, Trudy McIntosh, also 14 years old, on the floor. And a lot of spunk. Enjoys performing on this event. Like a rocket, straight up, full twisting, double back. Whip through to double pipe. Each athlete tries to select music that represents them, and I really think this one represents Trudy so well. She's a real character on this Australian team. And making a big contribution, 9-4-5 for McIntosh. Veronique Leclerc on the uneven bars in rotation three. Really wanting to make a big comeback after her mistake on vault. Off to a fantastic start. Shaposhnikova through to overshoot. Veronique knows how to swing bars. And if she hits, a very valuable routine at a full 10-point start value. That's her coach, her personal coach, Michelle Sharon, in behind her. Tkacha. She's right on the money right now, and I know she wishes she could go back and do vault again. But making the most of it here, double layout, hangs on. Powerful and capable Canadian athlete, Veronique Leclerc, and she'll score well on the bars, 9-5-6-2. Little Crystal Gilmore, her first vault was an 8-8. She's got a wall to climb. She's so tiny, the horse is so high. Chancel layout. Well done. It yields an 8-6 for an average of 8-7. Lisa Mason of England has some ground to make up on the floor X. I'd love to bottle her personality. She's made such an impact here. Lots of enthusiasm. First tumbling line, full twisting double back, but she doesn't stop there. Find the hands for double twist. 9-4-8-7 for Mason on the floor and the leader, the runaway leader, Zena McLaughlin to vault. Perfect. Chenko one and a half struggled yesterday, but not today. 
Right with her coach there, 9-2-4-3 is the average for Zena McLaughlin. There she is with her coach, Peggy Liddick. One event left for all of the women. Australia poised for a medal sweep with team leader Zena McLaughlin leading the way. Now to rotation number four, and Alana Slater on the balance beam. And a beautiful beam worker. We've talked about how young she is, but you would never know it. Incredibly sophisticated, very mature, and most of all, very, very tough. Round up, double touch, making a big contribution to that team. Slater scores so well throughout, 9-4-5 on the beam. Trudy McIntosh of Australia, vaulting. Front handspring, front layout. Very few women in the entire world can perform that vault. Extremely difficult to rotate. 9-2-5, the first vault. Here's Crystal Gilmore's last event. She's going to the bars. She's a trickster on this event. She's got the Jaeger. We know the judges love those release moves, and she puts in plenty of them. There's the overshoot. Great swing, good speed, giant bolt, got jab, and today she's got it. Yesterday, it was a different story. The landing will be critical, Scott. Double layout. Right on. So much talent and technical ability, searching for consistency. She finally scores well, 9-4-7-5. Second vault now for Trudy McIntosh of Australia. And she's going to do the front front in the layout position again, but this time adding a half twist. World original vault. She's caught all the right moves. Well, the Australians are looking good for this medal sweep. 9-3-7-5 to average out at 9-3-1-2. Here's Emily Fournier's last event, the Florex, and she has to be, well, nearly perfect to get in the top three. Well, this is a great event for her to do it on. Eye-catching choreography. She knows how to move. Double pike, lots of air time. A little off center on her jumps. Out of the gymnast club in Montreal, Quebec. No Francine Buffard is sitting at home watching her protege. Emily is here alone without her personal coaches. And that alone was a big growing experience for her. First year on the national team, watch this. She keeps it right in balance. She's learning to be a fighter. With the new rules, the jumps and the intricate turns are almost as important as the tumbling line. The judges want to see both. Heading into the final pass, whip through to one and a half. <laughs> Kicks out another half. She's done a great job. Emily Fournier for Canada has been rock solid throughout. 9-2 on the Florex. And finally, Zena McLaughlin can put away the gold medal with her uneven bar routine. And Scott, she'll do exactly that. Rarely have we seen a more consistent performer. She's been right on the money every event. Giant full, giant half, double front half out, <laughs> and that is a gold medal performance. Nails the dismount to boot. Zena McLaughlin, the uneven bar score, 9-5-7-5. You saw her personal coach, Mark Carlton. He has to be bursting with pride. Gold medal for Australia. They sweep the medals. Coming up next, the Canadian men rise to the podium, and they hope the occasion. Come on.